In this lesson, we're going to review the structure and the function of the executory system. So there are three major functions of the executory system. One is to remove waste from the body. Two, it's to control a fluid balance or regulate a fluid balance, so we should say fluids and salt in the body. And three, it is to maintain the pH of the body or the acidity of the blood. So these three processes are all vital to maintaining homeostasis or balance in the body. The system is made up of lungs, the liver, the skin, and of course the kidneys. Let's go through their contributions. Lungs excrete water vapor and carbon dioxide. They do this because you might recall that a byproduct of the Krebs cycle uh, during cellular respiration is water and carbon dioxide. So our body eliminates this. Next, the liver does not excrete any substances from the body, but it's the location where amino acids are deaminated and where it forms something called urea. Okay, this is a waste that must be removed from the body. The skin over here excretes sweat and sweat contains water and salts and also urea that needs to leave the body. And finally, our kidneys. Our kidneys remove excess water and urea from the blood, creating something called urine. Urine exits the body um, starting with the kidneys and then travels down to the bladder. Okay, bladder is a stretchy muscular hollow organ um, that, that holds urine until it's ready to be released. It is released through a tube called the urethra. So hopefully you remember the four parts of the excretory system and their important function in the body.